Congratulations on your ex- When I look back on when I was accepted to Boston College, I was both excited and scared. What is college gonna be like? What will happen to me along this journey? I decided to get scientific about it, weigh the pros and cons. There are 1,370 days of college. What if we could rearrange them into a different order, grouping all the similar events together? What might that look like? If we play it out, we spend 14 days climbing the million dollar stairs, seven days at Fenway Park, 92 days abroad, two days straight singing for Boston, Build Me Up Buttercup, and Sweet Caroline. 110 days interning, 80 days talking to professors, 175 days of research, 58 days in the dining halls, 17 of which we wait for a steak and cheese, 132 days of making new friends. We study for 300 days in O'Neill, in our dorms, just pretending we go to Hogwarts. 80 days running the res. It snows for 71 days and cancels class for two days if we're lucky. 516 days in class, learning the liberal arts and humanities. 48 days playing intramurals. 97 days watching the leaves change. 24 days doing service. We practice and we practice for 32 days of performance. We learn the BC traditions and celebrate them for 17 days. 57 days watching the sunrise. We spend untold amounts of time in the mods. And as I reflect, I discover that there is no formula to college that the experience is about the small moments, jumping from event to event, that there's beauty in the randomness. So congratulations, class of 2020. You've got one wild and precious life, and we can't wait to share it with you. Each spontaneous moment, one day at a time. The question is, will you be here on day one? <laughs>